the Stroop effect. Think fast, what color is the ink? Hard to say at first, right? That's the Stroop effect in action. Your brain automatically reads the word blue while simultaneously processing the red color, creating a mental traffic jam. It's like your brain is trying to drive in two directions at once. This happens because reading is so automatic that you literally can't turn it off, even when you're desperately trying to focus on something else. The cocktail party effect. You're at a crowded party, music blasting, people chattering everywhere. Suddenly you hear someone across the room say your name. Boom! Your attention snaps to them instantly. That's the cocktail party effect, and it's like your brain has a built-in radar system. Your auditory system filters through all that noise to find what matters to you personally. Your brain is constantly scanning every conversation, ready to pull your focus when something important pops up. This mental spotlight can tune out a hundred voices, but will immediately highlight the one saying something relevant to you. The phantom vibration syndrome. Your phone buzzes in your pocket. You reach for it, but there's nothing there. No notification, no call, no text. You just got pranked by your own brain. That's phantom vibration syndrome, a modern technology glitch where your brain thinks your phone is buzzing when it's not. Your mind is so conditioned to expect alerts that it starts creating fake ones. It's like your brain develops separation anxiety from your phone. People who check their phones more often experience this more frequently. Your brain literally invents vibrations because it's addicted to digital stimulation. The pareidolia effect. You're looking at clouds and suddenly see a perfect face staring back at you. That outlet on the wall looks grumpy. That rock formation resembles a dog. Welcome to pareidolia, where your brain sees faces and familiar patterns everywhere. Your brain is hardwired to spot faces for survival, but sometimes it goes completely overboard. It's like having facial recognition software that's way too sensitive. You'll see faces in toast, animals in wood grain, and people in random objects. Your brain would rather see something familiar than admit it's just looking at random stuff. The Tetris effect. You spend hours playing Tetris, then close your eyes and still see falling blocks everywhere. You look at buildings and think about how the shapes would fit together. That's the Tetris effect taking over your brain. After intense, repetitive activity, your brain gets stuck in a loop, replaying the patterns you saw. It's like your brain downloaded a game and can't stop running it. This can happen with any repetitive activity, whether it's playing video games, intense studying, or even productive work. Your brain becomes so attuned to certain patterns that it begins to apply them to everything you see. The batter meinhof phenomenon. You learn about a new car model and suddenly you see it everywhere. You discover a new word, and now everyone seems to be using it. That's the batter meinhof phenomenon, and no, the universe isn't playing tricks on you. Your brain just got a software update. Once something becomes relevant, your attention filter prioritizes it, making it seem like it's everywhere. It's not that these things suddenly became popular. You just started noticing them. Your brain highlights what matters, making previously invisible information suddenly obvious. The Zagarnik Effect. You start watching a TV show but get interrupted halfway through. Now you can't stop thinking about what happens next. That unfinished email keeps nagging at you. That book you started but never finished haunts your thoughts. That's the Zagarnik Effect messing with your head. Your brain creates mental tension for incomplete tasks like having a bunch of browser tabs open in your mind. It's why cliffhangers work so well and why you feel that annoying urge to finish what you started. Your brain hates loose ends and will keep bugging you until you tie them up. The Google Effect. It's when your brain stops trying to remember something because it knows you can just look it up online. Someone asks you a question, and instead of thinking it through, your first reaction is, I'll just Google it. That's the Google Effect rewiring your brain. We're outsourcing our memory to search engines instead of focusing on memory improvement techniques. Your brain figures, why memorize something when you can just look it up? It's efficient, but makes us totally dependent on our devices. We're becoming human internet hybrids with our smartphones acting as extended memory storage. The illusion of transparency. You're nervous about a presentation, and you're convinced everyone can see you sweating, shaking, and panicking, but they can't. That's the illusion of transparency tricking you. You feel your heart pounding, so you assume everyone else can see it too. Your brain thinks it's the center of everyone's attention, but people are usually too busy worrying about themselves. You're having a full internal meltdown while appearing totally normal to others. This creates unnecessary stress because you think you're an open book when you're actually pretty good at hiding your feelings. The backfire effect. You show someone clear evidence that contradicts their belief. Instead of changing their mind, they believe it even more strongly. That's the backfire effect, and it's incredibly frustrating. When deeply held beliefs are challenged, some people's brains dig in their heels and reject the evidence. It's like their brain treats facts as personal attacks. The more important a belief is to someone's identity, the harder they'll fight to defend it. Your brain prioritizes being consistent over being correct, which explains why most arguments on the internet aren't productive. The observer effect. Your computer isn't working. Everything's glitching, nothing responds. But the moment you call someone over to take a look, suddenly it works perfectly. That's the observer effect in everyday life. It's not supernatural, it's your brain paying extra attention when you're being watched. When you're actively observing something, you notice details you normally miss. 
Your heightened awareness makes everything seem different. It's like having a mental magnifying glass that changes how you perceive situations. That's why looking for a problem sometimes makes it temporarily disappear. The sufficiency effect. You're shopping for a new laptop. You find one that's good enough and stop looking, even though there might be better options. That's the sufficiency effect, also called satisficing. Your brain stops gathering information once it has enough to make a decision. It's a trade-off between effort and finding the perfect choice. This prevents decision paralysis but can lead to suboptimal choices. But most of the time, your brain knows when good enough really is good enough. And it's not worth the mental energy to keep searching forever. The weirdness effect. You remember that one bizarre fact you learned five years ago, but you can't recall what you had for breakfast this morning. That's the weirdness effect prioritizing unusual information. Normal, everyday stuff gets filtered out, but weird details get VIP treatment. It's why you remember embarrassing moments so vividly, but forget routine conversations. Your brain treats unusual information like breaking news, ensuring it sticks around while ordinary memories fade away. The position effect. You're trying to remember a grocery list and can recall the first few items and the last few, but everything in the middle is gone. That's the serial position effect creating a memory U-curve. Your brain prioritizes information based on its position. Early items stick because you've rehearsed them more, and recent items are still fresh in short-term memory. The middle gets lost in the shuffle. It's why smart presenters put their most important points at the beginning and end of their talks. The IKEA effect. You build a piece of furniture and suddenly it's your favorite thing in the house, even though it's wobbly and looks weird. That's the IKEA effect making you overvalue your own work. Your brain tricks you into thinking your DIY project is amazing because you put effort into it. This explains why people love their homemade crafts, why chefs think their own cooking tastes better, and why you get emotionally attached to things you've built yourself. The spacing effect. You cram for an exam all night and forget everything a week later. But if you study the same material spread out over time, it sticks forever. That's the spacing effect showing you how your brain really learns. Cramming feels effective but doesn't work long term. Your brain needs time between learning sessions to consolidate information. It's like your memory needs breathing room to properly store things. This is why spaced repetition works so well and why your brain learns better with productive breaks, not marathons. The Mandela Effect. You clearly remember Darth Vader saying, Luke, I am your father. But when you watch the scene again, he actually says, no, I am your father. That's the Mandela Effect, a shared false memory that feels absolutely real. Large groups of people collectively remember something that never actually happened. Your brain fills in gaps with what it thinks should be there. And when enough people do it, it becomes a collective illusion. It's proof that our memories aren't as reliable as we think. And sometimes our brains just make stuff up. The reminiscence effect. You remember high school like it was yesterday, but last month feels like a blur. That's the reminiscence effect making your teenage years feel like the most important time ever. Your brain creates a memory peak between the ages of 10 and 30, giving that period a kind of premium storage. These years stand out because you formed your identity at the time. Experiences felt more intense because they were new. The brain treats novelty like breaking news, locking those first times into long-term memory. Have you experienced any of these brain glitches? Let me know in the comments which one messed with your head the most. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-bending content. Thanks for watching.